What's up soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Just finished making a tomato rice meat-free Monday continues. There was a lot of people asking for more recipes, so you're gonna love this one, man. Stay tuned. The very first thing we've got to do is to prepare the tomatoes for um, for the rice. And what I like doing, I take the core out and I give it a little cut on the bottom there and into hot water, boiling water actually, not for long, that's going to help us to um, easily peel them. So just going in there, maybe about a minute or so, and then we'll drain it, cool it down, and then we'll be able to peel the skin off. With the little cut we made, it's so easy to peel the skins off here. So that's all I'm doing is peeling the skins off. It's nice and cool to the touch. I'm going to discard the skin. And then we're just going to give the tomato just a quick rough chop into the food processor and I have some parsley here let's give that a rough chop as well put that in the food processor and I'm going to continue breaking down those and putting it into the food processor I don't think you need to see that and we've got a somewhat chunky consistency that's going to add some texture to everything it only took maybe about less than a minute in the food processor there. You can use a blender, totally up to you. You can also chop it up finely with a knife if you don't have an electronic uh, device there. I've got about a tablespoon of olive oil in my pot here. And I'm going to go in with one diced small onion. All the ingredients I use here today will be listed down in the description of the video. And I also post a recipe on CaribbeanPod.com. I've got here one bird's eye pepper or bird eye chili, seeds and everything. I want a little bit of a kick in this, so it's totally optional, up to you. I've got here two large cloves of garlic, which I diced as well. Some fresh thyme. If you have dry thyme, you can use that as well. And we're going to go in with some black pepper. We'll turn my heat down to all the way down to low. And let that gently cook for about two or three minutes. We don't want to burn anything, but we really want to bring out all those nice flavors. I notice it's starting to develop a little bit of color, and I don't want that necessarily happening. So here's what I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon of tomato paste. And I'm just going to move that around. Because we're almost done cooking the onion and garlic here. I just want to bring out the sweetness of that tomato paste. It's going to help add a more rich color to the finished rice dish as well. Give that one more fix there. And here's where we're going to add a pureed tomato to the pot. Just going to crank up my heat a bit because I want to bring this up to a boil. We want to give this a stir just to make sure all those flavors come together. And here is where I'm going to go in with some salt. Now I'll be using vegetable stock. After all, it is Meat Free Monday. I'm trying to keep this fully vegan as well. Um, I know in that vegetable stock there will be uh, quite a bit of sodium in there as well. So we're trying to compensate for that later on. We can also salt it if you wanted to add some more salt. But be mindful of the fact that whatever vegetable stock, if you want to use chicken stock, you can do that. It won't be Meat Free Monday then. But um, be mindful of the sodium content in whatever stock that you're using. To help combat some of the acidity in that tomato, what I'm going to go in, in with about a tablespoon or so of brown sugar. Don't fret, the dish will not come out sweet, I assure you of that. It's just going to help balance off the, um, the flavors. Oh, ah, we've got a piece that's a bit too chunky. You're not making the cut today, buddy. Sorry about that. It's been going on that sort of gentle simmer there for about five minutes. Here is where we're going to, actually a couple things. Um, if you wanted to add a spice, cumin would be great in here. And you're going to see me use vegetable stock, as I said. If you wanted to go half and half vegetable stock and coconut milk, you can certainly do that. I have here basmati rice. You can use your favorite rice, just be mindful of the amount of liquid you will need to cook it. And remember, all the ingredients will be listed down in the description of the video there. Give that a quick stir. We're going to incorporate everything. And we really don't want to overwork the rice. And one of the reasons why we wash the rice is to get rid of most of the starch on the outside of it. And any sort of debris and stuff like that sometimes you find in the rice. 
So we've got that going. We want to bring this back up to a boil now. But before we do, we need some more liquid to bring this together. And this is where I'm going to go in with that vegetable stock. Give that a quick stir. Now be mindful, the tomatoes puree will act as a liquid. Because remember how runny that was there, right? So be mindful when you're adding the liquid in there. Bring that up to a boil and then we'll continue. It's come up to a boil now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the heat down all the way down to low. And then I'm going to put the lid on there and let that go until it's fully cooked. It's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes and this rice is cooking very fast. If you need to add a little bit more liquid to yours, you can certainly adjust it at this point here. I'm going to put the lid back on. Now remember guys, you can always follow me on Instagram at Caribbean Pot. Real action, real vibes going on there, especially these stories. So check that out, man. Back lid back on, yeah? We've got a few more minutes to go. It's been about 15 minutes. I turned the stove off. All the liquid has dried up. What I'm going to do now is just put the lid back on and let it sit for about five minutes just for those grains of rice to absorb more of that flavor. And then we're going to go in with a fork and sort of fluff it up. Now this step here is totally optional. I like going in with a bit of cilantro. Totally optional as I said. But it works great with tomato as you would know by now. And all you would do is just fork that up. Just to fluff up the rice a bit. Chris here at CaribbeanPot.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. If you wanted a little bit of lemon zest that would be ideal in here. If you wanted to add another element to this. You could have added some shrimp near the end of the last five minutes. Yo, that would rock. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen. Remember to check out Instagram, Caribbean Pot. There's all kind of niceness on there, man. My little baby is here. We've got cookbooks, guys. WestIndianFoodCompany.com. Get your copy today.